Welcome to Buy Time. I'm Jacob DeGate. And now joining us via Zoom is Dr. LaFleur, who's the director for the Center for Bayou Studies. Thank you very much for joining us. It's good to be here. All right. My understanding is y'all are having a Bayou Studies conference that's going to be open and free to the public on, on March 9th. Uh, can you tell us a little bit uh, what's going to go on at that conference? That's right. Uh, thanks for letting me talk about this. This is a part of a, a bigger group of things at Nichols for the 75th anniversary. But as it turns out, not only are we celebrating the 75th anniversary of Nichols, but this is the, the 10th anniversary of something that's still fairly new at Nichols. It's called the Center for Bayou Studies. And the Center for Bayou Studies is a initiative at Nichols where we seek many faculty and students from different disciplines that are all connected to the unique cultures of the wetlands and the coast of Louisiana, the Bayou region. And so in the Bayou Studies Conference, we have invited some speakers and some poster presenters that are gonna all talk about different aspects of Bayou region from ecology to geography to cultural and historical aspects. Well, that, that certainly sounds uh, very interesting, uh, I guess, and an opportunity to learn a lot about the area that, uh, that people live in that, that you might not know. I know a lot of people, uh, you know, have been here for, for a while, but you may not know everything, and it's always good to go back and get the history of it uh, and learn some new things as well. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the, the community is invited, so uh, we're reaching out to the community because... We would love to, to host you and let you know of what some of the things that, that we're doing here at Nichols across several different departments. A lot of times when people think about, you know, the Coastal Center, they might just think about the science that's going to happen, biological and maybe chemical, microbiological sciences. But another part of the Coastal Center is going to be the Center for Bayou Studies, where we really prioritize a lot of what's going on with the culture of the Bayou region, the, the people and the communities of, of the Bayou region. Well, it, and it, it's certainly a, a thing that, that needs to be, uh, I guess, focused on more because it, it seems like as the years pass on, you know, a lot of that culture, you know, has the chance to, to get lost uh, with, you know, people moving away, uh, unfortunately, and, and it's a good op opportunity, uh, you know, to keep reminding people about that culture as well. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it, we, we don't exactly have textbooks that teach us. You can find some books about Acadian culture, of course, but at Nichols, we, we find that we sort of have to push this into our, our class curriculums our, ourselves. And this is a, a good example, a good time to, to see some of the work that different faculty are doing. For example, Dr. John Doucet, he's the dean of the College of Sciences and Technology. He's going to talk about the last Acadian coast, more or less the, the settlement of the Lafouche territory. You know, and most people know that Cajuns got here mostly by, by leaving Acadie or Nova Scotia, but they don't know all the details about how folks from, went from Nova Scotia to France, back to Louisiana, and then came up by Lafouche and, and Mississippi and, and how they got here. So Dr. Doucet is going to talk about that kind of history. We're going to go from that into other types of Cajun culture, like Randy Sheremy is going to talk about some of the culinary aspects of, of Cajun history, and he's going to share with us some of his, his culinary expertise. We are going to get into some biology, too. We have someone talking about the crabs of Louisiana. We have some folks talking about the herp herpetofauna, that's the reptilian fauna, and about what happened when Hurricane Ida came and the microbiological changes that occurred in the estuary because of that. So we have a pretty diverse uh, program. Okay, and is it all uh, faculty speak or are any students gonna speak as well? Or We made sure to have students. Okay. So, you know, we have speakers, we also have posters. A lot of students are doing posters, but we do have some students giving talks. Like Lucas Futi is one of the students that works with Tim Clay, he's gonna talk about the reptiles of the Bayou region. So we have students on hand and we also have community members like we have Amy Shows Monnier, who's going to be talking. She's not a person that's faculty right now at Nichols, but she's going to be talking about uh, some 
French language uh, aspects of the Bayou region. So we have a, a pretty diverse crowd. Okay, and that's going to be, uh, it's Saturday, uh, March 9th, uh, and it's going to be, where is it at? Uh, it's in the student union? Yeah, we're having it in the big, um, in the ballroom, yeah. Okay. So uh, it's more or less running from um, 8.30 till about 4, and we're going to take a break at lunch, but we're going to have um, a big morning session and a big afternoon session. And there's no price, so you know there's no fee, so it's it's totally free. But we would like it if you RSVP to Jenny Shake Snyder. Um, that's Jenny Shake Snyder at at Nichols, and uh, that would help us get a, a head count. Okay, uh, so you can just send an email letting know uh, that that you plan on and attending. Uh, and, yeah. and that way y'all can uh, I guess help plan for for everything. Uh, that's, that's gonna right. be there. Are you gonna give any? Talks is over there. Of course, there? yeah. All right. I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite things in Terrebonne Parish, Chauvin Sculpture Garden. Oh, that's wonderful. You know? Yeah, I know they having some. Uh, they're they're still. Are they still repairing it from Ida right now? Yeah, uh, we are. But we restoration. have a great. We have a great sculpture conservationist, um, Greg Elliott, working on that, and we're kind of uh, coming up to the to the blessing of the fleet soon. That's going to be Sunday, April 14th. So I'll be talking about. The, the work to repair and some of the great things that are happening at the Chauvin Sculpture Garden. All right. Well, thank you very much, Doctor, for, for, go, for uh, coming on and letting everybody know about this. Appreciate it. You bet. Thanks for having me. All right. Stay tuned for more right here on HTV.